Welcome back to the show, country music singer and songwriter, as well as the co-founder of Old Glory Bank, Mr. John Rich. I, I can't tell you how many times, probably in a month, I get people asking me, John, what they're going to do about the clear bias in our banking system and concern that they're going to be on the receiving end. Is this an escalation in this tactic and we can expect more of this? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, first of all, thanks for covering this story. So what people have to understand is banks do not have to do what the federal government tells them to do. People people say about Old Glory Bank, well, what if the federal government tells Old Glory Bank to shut down Emerald Robinson's account because they don't like a story that she posted or something that she said on social media? The bank actually has an option at that point. They can tell the feds, okay, we'll close it. Or they can say, you know what, uh, she's exercising her constitutional rights. We'll see you in court if you want to take it that far. That's where Old Glory Bank is going to step 